All right, it just started coming down like crazy. Like crazy. Look, there's blue skies right there, but it's just... Okay, so we're gonna get out to the car real quick. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, don't tell me. I oh, man. Oh, man. Getting all wet now. I'm getting all wet now. Okay, hang on. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Hey, just so you know, at my house, that's what happens. That's what happens. All right. Hang on. Okay. God damn. Oh, show that. Help. Help. All right. I made it. Holy moly. Dude, it is coming. Wow, this is great. Uh, that's how a real man handles his rain right there. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Real mustache. Show him a real man. All right, here we go. All right. I just I just got back from the motorcycle ride on my bike that's in the little it's a little garage right now. Wow, it just lit up like that. That was crazy. Oh, it's probably because of the canopy above us. <laughs> Durr. Durr, 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 durr. Okay, I think it's July 28th, 2021. Yeah, I was just out on the golf course. Area and everyone was considering playing. And then this happened after the, yeah, I was gonna try, oh, I was gonna be late today at our for our tea time. And unfortunately uh, I just couldn't make it at all. But it is what it is, man. It is what it is. If it didn't start to come down like this, I'd be out there. But yeah, over at the golf course, it started to drizzle, but you saw dark clouds coming in, so you knew it was going to get pretty bad. I just, I didn't expect this though. Oh, it puddles, puddles. Yeah, I don't know what I. Yeah, I don't even know why I'm even talking about my tea timer. I'm not even making sense. And look at the road flooded. Look at this. Wow. Awesome sauce, man. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go over by Snow Summit. Is a little behind me? Nope, we're good. All right, Snow Summit, my friend. That's where we shall go. But then again, look, it's just this one cloud right here. It's crazy cool. Literally just this like one big cloud right here. But it's really coming down. And it's good that it's kind of close to the lake. One of you guys told me that we've lost an inch on the lake in the past like month or so. That's just crazy. Yeah. Sorry, I got distracted. Holy moly. I'm gonna take one of these side streets to get to summit. I apologize about uh, the windshield like usual. That's what's great about the winter time when we get snow is I we can usually see perfectly out, out of the windshield. But yeah, hang on just a quick second guys. I just need to pull over for a quick second and respond to this message, hang on. See, look at how smart that is, pulling over to respond to the message. Aha! Where's the spoon? All right, hang on. Hang on. Okay, hang on. All right, sorry about that. We had to take a little detour. You guys are like, what are you talking about? You're on the same road. No, I just had to pull over and a few different times to respond to phone calls. But yeah, we're coming up to Snow Summit. I know it's a horrible view right now. All right, here we go a little bit. Man. And we have good drainage over here that drains to the lake, so that's good. I'm glad we're getting, or we were getting hit pretty good over here. 
good thing. Obviously. Okay, we're gonna go here. We're gonna turn left. Oh, you know what? There's probably a bunch of people. Holy moly, look at how packed the parking lot is. We're gonna make this, we're gonna flip out of here, but wow, look at that. Everyone's, they're dirt biking, that's right, that's right. I don't have the nerve to do that down this huge mountain, it's crazy. Anyway, yeah, I just wanted to see what's going on up here, guys. And you can see straight ahead, it's raining pretty good. Like, uh, I don't know, maybe a quarter mile ahead of us. What we're gonna do is head back down here on Switzerland and come out in Moon Ridge. It should be heavier rain over there because it's darker over here, so we'll see. shall see hang on quick okay second. sorry about that I just think it's better even when there's no cars on the road just pull over if you have to do your texting and stuff I know uh, I know it just seems so weird that I'm holding I'm holding a phone making a video and saying that like it just seems so oxymoronic so this road they they fixed these they fixed these potholes last year and they're already coming back pretty good. This road has a bunch of beautiful houses on it back here. Once we get to the top of here, especially. Well, no, they're, they're all of these really beautiful and good sized houses too. So we just hit a deep little pothole that I didn't realize was there because uh, the water filled it up. And as I said, they just fixed this this last year and it's already getting tore up from the floor up. Yes, as I said, we head towards Moon Ridge, we're gonna get heavier rain. So let's see, where should we go? Yeah, so right over here is probably where the heaviest is going, I don't know. It just looks that way. So we'll check it out. That house, I love that place. It just looks like a big abandoned place, but it's not abandoned. I think you can you, you can rent it for Airbnb. Look at this nice place. Oh my God. You know what? That is magical right there. That's what I want to stay at. That's what we should do. Oh, someone already lives there. Oh no, that's a different house. Guys, these houses back in here are really big. They're really big, really beautiful. Lots of land. All right, anyway, we're headed back. This is Elm Street, guys. Every town has an Elm Street. Rick. Oh! <laughs> oh, God. Freddy's back! Bitch! <laughs> <laughs> that was, the laugh was bad, but... I used to... Uh, I don't know, man. Robert England, when I was a kid, he scared the crap out of me. Um, and to be able to watch that, those, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street movies, sneaking away from my mom and dad to watch them with my siblings and friends, like, I had to, like, put in my, oh, look, they closed this damn road. I had to put in my head that, um, I should just go, they're, they're, they're not working on the road, but they don't take, take the signs out. Um, I used to put in my head that he's just an actor that's just an actor and it's not real <laughs> you know and it would still scare the crap out of me but anyway yeah this is kind of uh, not cool yeah why why did they do that anyway so we're in like the kind of the front part of Moon Ridge you guys Moon Ridge is a great area you actually get some decent bear sightings out here Decent bear sightings. Cause we're not too far from the from the from the, from the forest. Just think about it. But we're gonna make a lefty Lucy. Road work ahead. That wouldn't be prudent. Not at this juncture. All right, here we go. So let's take a nice look at what's going on over here. Oh, see that lightning? We caught it. We caught it. Right, the biggest lightning. Holy crap! Can you guys believe we caught that? Right when I turn the camera. Oh my god, man. 
just going to call it a day too. I can't believe you caught that. Uh, I don't know how long into the video it is, but that was awesome. Guys, that was awesome. I don't know. Yeah, see, it's bound that we'd get lucky once in a while. That lightning bolt was straight up and down. That was awesome. Man, you guys saw how bright that was, right? You guys are like, yeah, you idiot. I'm watching. Hello. McFly. Please show me another one. Please show me. Show me the money. Give me a money shot. <laughs> that sounded pretty. Oh, my God. I was horrible. Uh, come on, man. Right there. It's going to be right there. Oh, we're going to miss it. Man. This is horrible. You're not gonna be able to see it. I have an idea. We're just gonna go into the brownie parking lot at the snow summit and just point the camera that direction. And we should be able to catch something. Stay long. At least you guys are getting the gist of what's going on here. But that's where the lightning bolt came. And it was like a massive lightning bolt. It just lit up the whole entire sky. And it's the middle of the day. It's so cool. Come on, lightning bolt. Lightning bolts forever. Coming down on Big Bear. Come on, man. Come on, man. This is a great monsoon season, guys. I'm loving this. We missed the lightning, but I hear the thunder. You guys hear that? You know, we'll record a little bit more. I just have to go to my house real quick and then we'll come right back. We'll, we'll actually drive a little bit more. So, oh man. Hang All right, guys. So that air, oh my gosh, look how dark it is right there. That's where it should be. That's where it should be freaking getting crazy. Sorry, I had to go back home for something. Guys, this is amazing. This is such a beautiful place. I'm so glad that you guys get to come up here and have a good time, man get the heck away deal with all the flooding right here this is awesome well the intersection was flooded a bit but that's about it so it's looking as if uh i mean look you pan out to the left it's just darker and darker i'm telling you that's where some lightning bolts are. oh my gosh guys this is really irritating because it's so beautiful so what we're going to do is i'm going to turn it off right now and then when we come back from where i'm going we'll turn it back on so we can look that way okay all right, guys, so I wanted to turn it on again a little bit earlier than I planned just so we can get a good, you know, uh, variance of what's going on. And you'll be able to, to really, I don't know, you'll be able to see a vast difference in what one half of the town looks like right now compared to the other. This part of town looks absolutely gorgeous. Just tourist heaven, man. This is like one of my favorite places in this area right here. And this is not my favorite thing, though, traffic. 
These are a few of my favorite things. Cars on the road and rain in the sky. This traffic sucks and I want to get ha 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 is a fun sound to make. Do, 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 do. Almost got myself in a little bit of trouble there. That's, that's okay. I mean, it's freaking legal, but you know what? I have kids and kids and women who watch this channel. Women and children. And I have to be appropriate. I have to be an upstanding citizen and just be the best I can. You know what? We're going to turn this off right now. And then I'm going to turn around because this is crap. Well, I decided to wait it out a minute and they let us through. So it, it was some road work up here that I couldn't see. I just thought it was just a bunch of you all trying to leave town on a beautiful day like today. I defy any cloud to appear in the sky. <laughs> Dare any raindrop to fall in my eye. And I'm not even in a good mood today. I actually kind of like snapped at a friend of mine earlier today and I don't, like I felt so bad. Like right afterwards, I apologized. I was, I, I was out of control. It was unacceptable behavior. Oh, uh, motorcycle, be careful of all the damn water, buddy. I was just on my bike and it started, it started to pour as I, as I was heading home, I noticed it, it was starting to come down quick and I'm like, uh oh. Even though my bike's not the heaviest Harley Davidson out there, it's still heavy. With all my add-ons and stuff, it's like 800 pounds. So my little ass has to like pull that thing up and down and like, you know, straighten it out. I ride it pretty well. I ride it hard. I ride that damn bike hard. But I'm very, I'm very, very, very careful. Um, up here, even though I know these turns with my eyes closed, I still won't go into a turn fast because we get rock slides and all that stuff all the time. Little, just, and just, there's always new debris in the road, in the turns, it seems like, always. So I'm always cautious. I'm really praying that one day there's like not a snowstorm and you guys are like, or there is one, but there's no video made. And then you guys are like, what, what, what's going on? There's like three feet of snow up there. What the hell happened? That's not going to happen. I promise. Cause I'm, I'm very careful. And I know it's not me that has to worry. Like, I have to worry about the other people on the road. I get it. I get it. I really understand, but I promise you guys I'll be okay. I'm not gonna, I mean, <laughs> I know, like, I, certain things you shouldn't be honest about in some cases. Like, for instance, my mom, who just it has a panic attack that I even have a bike, okay? Like, I told her yesterday that I'm going to pick up my bike in rush hour traffic on the 91 freeway in Riverside and driving it home. Like, that's something I shouldn't have told her. Like, why, why would I have told her that? She was like, why would you tell me that? And I felt so bad. But I was just excited to get my bike back. But, but those are the little lies, I think. Or there should be a, di a different word for it, like, in instead of lie. But that's what it is, because you're not telling the truth. You're being deceitful. They're all synonymous here. But so, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, <laughs> um, stuff like that, where, you know, if my mom would have asked, like, are you going during rush hour or, or during a safe time? I would say, of course, mom, I'm going to go during the safest time. You know me right so like those little things i don't you know why don't you guys tell me the, the one or two of you who actually watches this far why don't you tell me what you think about that like do you think that's okay <clears throat> and i know sometimes like when like i don't know uh, when you compliment someone uh <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm no Brad Pitt, so I'm not trying to say anything, but like when you compliment someone just to be nice, like, oh my God, you look great. You're like, oh, if I wasn't, you know, if I wasn't taken, if I wasn't with her, right, you know, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, that, that type of thing. Like, uh, because making people feel good is one thing, but pushing it too far, um, like some parents do with kids in sports, like, when their kid only grows to be five foot three and, and they want him to be the next Mug, uh, Bugsy Bogues and play ball, it's like, get real. Um, you know, those, there are times when you have to break it to people. You have to hurt their feelings to get them to grow. Because you can't have people living in dreamland all the time thinking 
one thing. Oh my God, you guys, we're gonna get some sick views over here. Sorry about my car, so I'm all over the place. My head is everywhere right now. I'm all depressed about some stuff and, and happy about other things and sad about some and, and upset about others. And just, it's just a full day. We are full of emotional feelings. Okay, there's no one behind us, so we're just gonna go really slow. Look at guys, I can't believe I didn't realize that this would have been the greatest view of all, all the time anyway. Look at that. Let's get some lightning. I'm just gonna keep it looking out that way, you guys, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. And you can see it really coming down over my sugar loaf, so that's where the lightning looks like it's probably gonna be. It's darker over there too. So I'm pointing the camera right out where sugar loaf is on the other side of the lake. Kind of <sighs> it'd be at like two o'clock on a if, if if you're looking straight ahead. Be like right over there <laughs> right beyond bear mountain on the other side oh my gosh we could get something gnarly right here too super fly oh look at that look at these people on their boats man they're just having a good old time aren't they <laughs> they're having a grand old time Can I get you anything kind, foes? No? Well then. I'm talking and they're not responding. Bastards. All right, here, here we go. So, uh, back to being a little less dumb than usual. Um, <laughs> we are, yeah, we are on North Shore Road right now. Or North Shore Road. Highway, well, it is Highway, th this is, no, this is Highway 38 right here. How crazy is that, guys? This is Highway 38. Just let that guy know I'm thankful that he let me by. Thank you. You're very welcome. So this is Highway 38, ladies and gents. And it's, it turns into Highway 18 if you stay straight on it. But if you turn right on Greenway and then make a left on Big Bear Boulevard, which used, which is Highway 18, but a, few mile, a, mile, a couple miles down the road, you make a left on that, then it turns into Highway 38 once you make a right from Big Bear Boulevard. It's crazy. It is absolutely ridiculously nuts. But when you're up here, you'll you'll get it. But it's just, it's hard to explain. If you stay on this right here, okay, we're on Highway 38 right now. If you stay on this past Stanfield, or past Greenway, you're gonna be on Highway 18 going down the backside of the mountain wondering, wait a minute, I thought I was on, on Highway 18. So you really got, or Highway 38, so you really gotta look for the signs, guys. You really gotta be cognizant of that. I'm telling you, you gotta be paying attention or else it'll, it'll screw you. It'll bend you over and just give you the old, the old screw in there. <laughs> the old screw. <laughs> I'm not saying any bad words. I'm just kind of, you know, I'm making a play on words, obviously. All right, here we go. Let's focus, Nick. You don't have to be an idiot all the time. But it's in my DNA. You should see some of my siblings. All right. I'm like the funny type of idiot, though. <laughs> I'm the funny type of dumb. Guys, look at how beautiful this is. Just magnifique, huh? Oh, snappity snap, snap, snap. I've got to take a nap, nap, nap. I'll do that in a little bit. Before I take a humongous rib. All right, here we go. We're gonna see some lightning over there. No, we're not. It might happen right here. It might happen right here. I promise you, if we see it, I'll shut up so we can hear the thunder. I promise you, I will, I will be able to manage that, I promise. I can do that. I do have that much self, well, maybe not, actually. I don't really think, I, you know, I don't think. I have that much self-control to be honest. 
Come on now. Give me lightning or give me death. Give me liberty or give me death. Alright guys, we're entering the little town of Fonskin. Don't blink, because we will be right through it. Hi Linda, how you doing? We, one of our friends on this channel lives out here guys. She's really, really sweet. Okay, keep your eyes peeled for lightning right here. We're gonna get some dry lightning right here. Something's gonna happen right there. I'm telling you. Or, oh my gosh, look where we're headed. Look where we are headed. Rainy town, won't you take me to? Rainy town, won't you take me to? Rainy town. Ah, oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. I thank them as well. Guys, how nice is that? That's how you need that's how people should drive up here. If you're gonna be going faster, or if, if if you're if you're gonna be holding people up, I know you're not doing it on on, on purpose and, and you know there's no one right or wrong, but well actually there there technically is. Uh, there actually is. If you're going slower, you need to pull out to let people get by. That's just the common courtesy way of the road. You could actually get a ticket for impeding traffic believe it or not even though you're not speeding or, or anything like that you could get a ticket for holding up the road that's why you see signs on freeways that say like minimum speed for trucks like 55 and stuff because uh yeah it's it's not it's not good and especially the people who are just completely oblivious to anything going on in this world and we get a lot of them that that come up here man we really do Look at like 10 miles an hour the whole way up the mountain and not pull over at any of the pullouts. It literally takes them like about two minutes just to pass one of the pullouts because they're going so slow. There's that much time to pull over, maybe twist up a fatty, um, I don't know, read a book, just do something. So it, that's what gets frustrating. And I'm not trying to complain too much, but I want you guys to know like that's, that's, that's just... I mean, seriously, it would make the trip for everybody so much better if people would just, just drive better up here. I'm telling you. And I'm not one to say that I'm a great driver. I'm not trying to put the blame on others and not point the finger back at myself. I'm just, I want us all to do this equally and help each other out so we don't drive like a bunch of schmucks up here. And uh, because other people do have things they want to do and they don't get a lot of vacation time. And Hang on a second. All right, this phone is having a weird issue with the camera. It like keeps on making the camera shake and jump. Wow, beautiful. Keep your eyes peeled for the lightning, man. I can't believe we caught that one good bolt. Literally right when we pointed the camera in that direction and rolled down the window a little bit, it hit. I can't wait to see that. I am so excited for that. Oh, I think I just saw something. Listen for it. It was like a camera flash, so obviously it was lightning, but it wasn't right in front of us, but it was like a camera flash. Dang it. We're going the right direction now, guys. The rest of this drive will be rain and uh, potential thunderstorms as we exit Fonskin. Sorry, Linda. All right, let's do this. Do it, do it, do it. It seems like every time I blink, I'm seeing like a flash. It's not that bad, but... always believe in me and like give me so much of your time so I want this to happen I mean let's get some let's let's get some lighting
I'm telling you, the lightning, it, it really could be like to the left though, because look at how just dark, or you can't really tell so much from there, but it's really dark there too. Come on, please, please, higher power, do something for me. I wish I was playing golf right now. Man, going out there and then it starts to rain was just brutal. make this turn I'll show you where like straight ahead is where that's where it's gonna be right there that's where it's gonna be I just have a feeling man this looks like they're much more charged they're more cumulously looking cumulus looking cumulonimbus cirrus striatus and fartus <laughs> Yep, those are the stinky clouds. We call them farthest clouds. Yep. <laughs> I swear, guys, I'm completely sober. I don't know, like, what's gotten into me today. Oh, look, that's where it's going to be. Obviously, guys, it's going to be up here somewhere. But, like, now I'm seeing even really crazier dark spots over further past my house. Dang, that sucks. Dang. You know what? Maybe since I'm not getting any more calls at the moment, we'll just do a full tour of the town. We'll go to the other side where it could be smashing down. Maybe smashing down. Alright, hang on a moment. Uh, I do have to respond to a message. Dang it. What's gonna happen? The lightning. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. Give me some light, baby. watching this lane close thing right here. So I really hope I'm uh, doing the right thing here. Thanks, brother. I appreciate you. Give him the old thumbs up there. I mean, there wasn't anybody doing traffic right there. You saw that, right? Oh, this guy, and I don't even have to stop here. That's so awesome. I was gonna go straight. I totally forgot. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that right above Bear. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Look at that. Let me zoom in for you real quick. It's just thick. Just a flat, beautiful layer. Layer among layer of dormant muscle, waiting to pounce on its prey like a quivering. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is beautiful. You guys know what, what movie that was from, right? Couples Retreat. Yep. Take off your mask. Andres. Okay, here, let's see here. Uh, this is, look at this, look at, this is the cool variance. Hey look, that's one side of town, that's the lake. And then we're just gonna turn left here. We go straight and then look to the left, boom. Look at how nasty it looks over there. But you go from here to clear. Here to clear, clear to here. And, and, and. Yes, come on, lightning! Don't, don't, don't embarrass me like this, you son of a! Don't ever embarrass me like this, lightning! Come after you! I will find you! I'm, I'm, you don't think I'll find you? I will! I will put a lightning rod on top of my head, and I will find you! I just saw another little flash in the corner of my eye. I don't like that. Not one bit. I'm so happy here. I'm so happy. I don't know why this is so awesome, but it just is. It's just different, guys. You know, I, I think I figured out that, that that's part of it, obviously. It's like 
a huge novelty thing. Punch you right in the face, buddy. Alright. And I was talking to the lightning guys. I'm sorry, but I, I was talking to him. So I'm gonna punch him in the face next time I see him. Look at this. We're like right on the edge of this big thunderstorm right here. Without any lightning. Come on, man. Don't screw with me like this. I'm gonna get scared. I'm all scared up. I'm all scared up. Hey, I'm all screwed up. Alright, come on, man. Give me some freaking rain, dog. <laughs> I want to get you guys some rain and lightning and thunder and oh my. Rain and lightning and thunder. Oh my. If I click my heels together, will I go back to Moon Ridge? Ah, <laughs> uh, these guys are working. They're working in the rain. Just the feeling of happy again. Like the heaven itself. And feel all this sin. Alright, look, we're gonna get lightning, I promise you. It's gonna happen. And it's gonna be right there. Right where I'm pointing at. No doubt in my mind. It'll eventually happen. Is what I'm hoping. Guys, don't blink, please. Do not blink. Oh no, it's gonna be happening right here. <laughs> it's gonna happen right here. It really is. It really is. It really is. Come on. Come on, lightning, you bastard! You're making me look like something. All right, you guys, so I thought what would be kind of cool, because the village is just a big staple of Big Bear, and so is this cloud right here. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. Start pouring inside the car. Um, so we're gonna drive through the village with the camera on, just so you guys can see the village and all that good stuff. I was thinking I might get a lobster sandwich today, but I might just get the two. I, dude, guys, I am so hungry. I'm gonna get two spicy chicken sandwiches with cheese. Uh, this is gonna be the gross part. Extra mayonnaise. I know that's disgusting. I don't know why I like extra mayonnaise on something. Okay, dude, what are you doing, buddy? <laughs> yeah, what a toolbox, man. Guys, look at that over there. I know I keep on saying that. Just don't pay attention to me. Hit mute or something. I feel so embarrassed. I'm supposed to be. Well, I'm not a weather expert. I was. I, I was gonna say I'm supposed to be some like some some darn weather kind of guru, no expert. And it's a guru for like just, uh, maybe not in factual stuff, <laughs> but uh, you know, we're, we're gonna get something right here, guys. We're going to get something. When we're in the drive-through, I'll be able to point the camera th that direction the whole time. It's gonna be awesome. So anyway, yeah, we're just gonna focus on the village right now. Scrubberist, 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 ding -a. She's a ding dang. She's always walking into a tree. Oh my god, look at that ass. Hey! <laughs> Sorry guys. Sorry. Alright, I am still a guy. I am still a guy who literally his mind is still like it was when it was like 14, 13. I'm telling you. Filthy. And uh it never changes. When you get older, I heard like the, the urge is less. Well, um, <laughs> no. No, 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 what are you doing? Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's very nice of you. All right, guys. So good news and good news. Well, good news and bad news. 
bad news is I heard some loud thunder. Uh, uh, I didn't have it recorded. That was the bad news too. Oh wait, no. I don't even. I don't know what the hell I just said. The bad news was I didn't get it recorded. The good news is it looks like we're gonna get more of it right here. I mean, seriously. I just heard some loud thunder. You know, we 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 gotta take this. Yeah, Jack in the Box is closed. Can you believe that? They're only doing drive-through. So, you know what? I'm gonna go to Carl's. Fudge it. Okay. I'm gonna have some Chef's salty chocolate fudgems. All right, here we go. Look at this. Look at how pretty that looks, though, guys. I mean, that is some nasty weather right there. Come on, lightning, please. Please don't make me look like I'm too much of a dummy. I'm like that guy, like, it's not mine. I swear it's not mine. I don't know how it got there. That's what I do with these videos. I swear I saw the lightning. I swear it just didn't get recorded. But I really am getting the lightning. Unlike the guy who says, oh, that weed's not mine. <laughs> you know, I don't know how it got in my pocket. Oh, I don't know where that picture came from of me smoking weed. That's not me. That wasn't, I didn't, how did that get there? <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> oh, a picture of me on my pot farm. What, that, what? All right. I know, guys. I know. I need to really calm myself down before something happens. Before something happens. Guys, this is a long freaking weather video about just nothing. Um, I really hope I don't piss you guys off too much here. Maybe I give you. There's my friend Paul up there in the in the Cadillac, that black SUV up there. I just met up. I just saw him at the drive-through. He said he tried to walk in and it was closed. The Jack in the Box. So, and then he said he's gonna take his bike to our our place. I have another place up here. Um, I I got a place just so I can get away, like just a couple nights a month, maybe two nights a month, on the ops complete opposite side of town, different view, different area. And it's going to allow him to just keep the place to himself 100% um, and not have to rent it out, except just keep it for me. Uh, well, he'll keep it for himself, and then a couple nights a month, I'll stay there. Uh, just, as I said, as a vacation, to get away, it's not that much money, and it's a nice little place. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I got two places up here now. The other one I'm going to keep private. I'm gonna keep it very private. Some of you who are my friends, oh, well, all of you are my friends for Pete's sake, but uh, yeah. Some of you will definitely know. I mean, it's not that huge of a deal. Like, I, I don't, I'm not really that, I don't know, I don't care. But there should be some, come on, lightning, don't do this to me. So that's good, right? Do you guys think that's good, right? All right, we're going to go inside to Carl's here. My, my, my good friend Jeremy works here. I love him to death. He always gives himself so much shit. Like, always talks smack about himself. And kind of like I do. And it really bothers me hearing him say such negative things about himself. But then I do the same thing about myself. And I think it's, like, funny and this and that. So I know what some of you feel like when I put myself down. And I don't, I don't mean to put myself down, you know. Um, you know, I want to put myself up, you know, give myself like the emotional Viagra, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man, well, 420. It's unfortunate, you guys, very unfortunate, but I don't think we're going to get anything, and it would be right here, just like I always have been saying, <laughs> I've been saying every direction, but it would be right there, come on, man, give me some lightning, for Christ's sakes, for Pete's sakes, not Christ's sakes, for Pete's sakes, maybe for Jake's sakes, and Bill's sakes, and Jimmy Sakes? Come on, man. Give me some damn lightning already. Let's see. We'll turn around and get a little bit out here, straight ahead. I know what's going to happen as soon as I go inside to eat. It's just going to work like the town's going to catch on fire because of so many lightning bolts. Story of my life, anyway.
Peace out, you guys. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, man.